First of all, I'm Robbie Davis. Uh, I, I have the privilege of being the chair of the Nash County Commissioners, and I'd like to recognize first the other commissioners that are here. Uh, sitting up front here, I have Lou Richardson. Lou, if you'll raise your hand, and Mary Wells, if you'll raise your hand. And over here, I have Lisa Barnes, who everyone down this way should certainly know. I have uh, Wayne Outlaw up in the Westmount area, and I have Dan Combs, who everyone should certainly know from this area. And did Mr. Bell Phil come in? Haven't seen him yet. Okay, maybe he'll be here in just a minute. But on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, we want to welcome you, welcome you this morning to a great occasion that has been a very long time coming. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate the help that we have received from the towns of Maley, Bailey and Middlesex. Uh, Lou Harvey Lewis, the mayor, I know is here. Tim Johnson was the mayor when we started this project, uh, and I'm not going to say how many years ago it is because I think y'all know probably better than I do. And of course, uh, Tim has now taken the administrator job and I also want to thank the new mayor, Thomas Richards. Uh, the other person that I want to thank tremendously this morning is a gentleman that, uh, because he's somewhat camouflaged this morning, I couldn't quite find him in the crowd. Uh, Cephas Ray, would you step up here with me just a minute, sir? I want y'all to notice how he's walking up here now. You know I need to take your coat off, sir. Good, good to see you, sir. Cephas, uh, I, I can't recall how many times you came to our board meetings over the years to talk about a senior center in Southern Nash County. What I do recall is just what you did right then. You'd always sit in the back of the commissioner's room and uh, when it got to public comment, you would raise your hand and he would slowly stroll up to the microphone to tell us once again how bad we needed a senior center in Southern Nash County. We were getting asked by many people, but the consistency that Cecil had, I feel had a great part in moving this project from a project we knew we needed to do, but didn't want to obligate the funding quite yet to a project that moved up very quickly in the way government works on our capital improvement plan. I know no one in this part of the county realizes that it was quickly, but believe me, it, it was normally to stay on there for a number of years. But I want to personally thank you for your assistance in getting this done and uh, working with us as long as you, you have to do that. Uh, and thank you. Cephas, uh, I just in closing, because we've got right many people on, on the program speaking today, I was looking for something that would be appropriate to say this morning, and I found it in a, a book that I had, uh, and I think it would relate basically how you feel about this project and how you feel about the senior citizens in southern Nash County as well as throughout Nash County. The saying that I picked was a saying by Douglas MacArthur that was spoke by him at the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles on January the 26th, 1955. And he simply said, nobody grows old by merely living a number of years. People grow old by deserting their ideas, something Cecil did not do. Years may wrinkle the skin, but to give up, but to give up interest wrinkles the soul. You are as young as your faith, as old as your doubt, as young as your self-confidence, as old as your fear, as young as your hope, and as old as your despair. Uh, I don't know who, I, I just thought that fit the occasion very well this morning and how you have tackled this project o over the years. I don't know who made the program, but when they asked me would I say a few words, my only request was I'd like to say a few words, but I want to make sure I go before Michelle because uh, she is such a great speaker and entertainer, but I'd like to bring her up now if I could. And I appreciate whoever made put me up first, and I don't envy you guys has got to come behind this lady. Thank you, ma'am. Please <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> well, good morning. So glad you all could join us for this beautiful weather and this joyous occasion. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle McKnight and I'm the Aging Services Director for the Nash County Recreation and Senior Services Department. 
And I just want to give you a brief history of how senior programming got started in this part of the county and just a quick peek at where we hope to go from here. So in an effort to fill the need for senior programming in the southern part of the county, the aging department and county administration approached a nonprofit group, the Mount Pleasant Community Development Incorporated, about using space in their community building to establish a satellite location for senior programming. They were eager to assist us and offered us the use of their building at no charge. Monday, August 10th, 2009 marked the first day that we began offering programs to senior adults in Southern Nash County. Programs were offered each Monday from 9 a.m. until 12 noon and were focused on wellness, fitness, education, and fun, but not necessarily in that order. The response to the program was so positive that by November we were having problems with parking. There was a need to expand programming to an additional day and Thursday at 9 a.m. was added on. In 2016, we began a partnership with the Free Will Baptist Children's Home and they so generously allowed us to use their fitness facility and our members still use that facility on Thursdays at no charge. Over the years, more than 200 senior adults have participated in programs at the Mount Pleasant Center. Some of the original participants still attend today and they are here with us. Um, if you haven't seen these lovely red t-shirts, they are in the crowd and they want to make sure that you know that they're here. Those who came later joined in the dream of having a senior center for use in their, in their community. At this time, I'd like to ask all the people who came from the Mount Pleasant program just to wave your hand so that people can see that you're here and you showed up. Give them a hand, please. Thank you. Since programming first began here at Mount Pleasant, the Nash County Board of Commissioners heard from numerous citizens residing in the southern part of the county regarding their need to have a safe place to daily congregate and access programs and services in their community. The result is why we are here today. The brand new Southern Nash Senior Center will stand just behind us. It's a little muddy over there. We didn't want y'all getting stuck. But if you look behind you, there are poles in the ground with flags on them. That will be where the actual center is located. And this area out here will be parking. This project was awarded to r &L Builders and Sons of Battleboro, North Carolina, and will be just over 5,000 square feet. It's due to be completed later this year. This newest addition to the Nash County Recreation and Senior Services Department will offer both indoor and outdoor meeting spaces. It will house classrooms, an internet cafe with computer access and Wi-Fi capability, a kitchen, a well-equipped fitness room, a game room with pool tables and space for car tables, bathrooms with showers and lockers, and office space to provide services such as a foot care clinic, free legal aid services, and free Medicare insurance counseling. In closing, I'm honored to be a part of such an amazing department and in helping to fulfill our mission of serving seniors and families in this community. I'm always nervous about giving thank yous because you always forget someone, but there are a couple of individuals that we do need to recognize today. First, I would like to recognize our Nash County Board of Commissioners and our Nash County Administration for your always unfaltering support of seniors in this county. Because of your efforts, this Senior Center is finally coming into fruition, so thank you. I would also like to thank and recognize the tireless efforts of our previous Aging Services Director and now Assistant County Manager, Mrs. Stacy Schatzer. Stacy, your years of dedicated advocacy and leadership has impacted the lives of countless seniors and their families and the effects are still felt today. Thank you. To our awesome County Engineer, Mr. Mike Tolson, where's Mike? He's hiding out in the back. Mike joined us last year and he joined this project last year and he definitely hit the ground running. 
So thank you, Mike, for all of your help and for your endless patience while Stacy and I picked out paint and carpet samples. Um, for that, sir, you deserve a trophy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you also to our Mount Pleasant Activity Specialist, Mrs. Holly Edwards. Holly, wave your hand. Holly is directly responsible for planning all of the wonderful programs that go on at the Mount Pleasant Center. Holly, you have been instrumental in growing that group and in providing programs that keep our seniors engaged and coming back week after week. Thank you. Thank you to Stocks Engineering and Dawson Construction Services who have been key in helping us through the various design, engineering, and inspection phases of this project. And last but not least, to all the Mount Pleasant participants, your efforts in advocating for your needs have paid off. You should all be very proud. Thank you. Good morning, good to see you all. Let me ask you a question. I bet I get more hands this way than the other one than you did a while ago. How many of you ever, never thought you'd see this happen? <laughs> well, it's gonna happen. And it's a good day in Southern Nash County. And I'm so proud of the work that was done before I uh, was elected. Cephas Ray, thank you. He talked to me about this and I hadn't ever thought about running for county commissioner. So he's been on this a long time as well as a lot of the, uh, the others of you have. And I'm just glad to see it. I had a man tell me last year that lives right here in this neighborhood the weeds were as high as my head and he said it won't ever happen. And I said, oh yeah, it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. So we're here today to break ground and, and, and get started. And I told Kevin Barnhill that I wanted to see something happen. And he told me as soon as we give him the clearance, he was ready to go. He's got some, some equipment sitting out here right now. So it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna ride by here every day or two just to see what's going on, Kevin. <laughs> And uh, but thank you all for being so persistent and and uh, you know I just appreciate this park being here but I appreciate this senior center I qualify to come here and use this facility so I look forward to seeing you all here and and it's just a good day and thank you for being here <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Z Lamb, the county manager of Nash County. Um, it's an honor to be here today and take part in this ceremony. Um, would like to congratulate all the seniors who have waited so long for this opportunity and for this building to come to fruition. Uh, I will mention Cephas Ray also. I think uh, when I got here and December of 13, the first uh, walk-in uh, person who came into my office was Cephas Ray. And he wanted to make sure that I knew that Southern Nash County had been neglected for too long. And um, I'm just here to thank you for your uh undying uh, support of this project and also all the seniors um, also want to thank Dan Cohn who um, who since he's been elected has been a real advocate for this part of the county um, got us a new EMS station uh, in Middlesex um, and um, the, the other commissioners who supported uh, that project um, I can tell you the commissioners are committed to Southern Nash County. Uh, they've shown it in the last few years in funding and um, uh, we're really excited about this project and where it'll expand to. But um, just let me say that uh, again, thank you all for your support. The commissioners, um, their commitment here. The first year I was here, they set aside some money for this project. Second year, they set aside some more money for this project. And um, they've now got enough money set aside to complete it. So um, congratulations. I had about a 30 minute speech, but I decided to cut it short. Um, 
you want me to give the whole speech? I don't know. Okay. Thank you again, and look forward to being here um, in about in about um, four months. I will I will be able to attend also. So thank you. I'm Lou Harvey Lewis, mayor from Middlesex. I too am glad to be here. It is a joyous occasion. I would like to extend a very, very big thank you to the county commissioners, to Z, the manager, the staff, uh, everybody who's worked on this project. It is, it has been a long time coming. It will be a great asset to this end of the county, but I will step back uh, a step behind Robbie. You know, you really need to step back and thank the county, the town commissioners for Bailey and for Middlesex for over 10 years ago, myself and Mr. Fraser, who was the mayor then, sat down in, in the county office and talked about this park and the need for this park in Southern Nash County. It started way back then. Planning for this Senior Citizen Center started over 10 years ago when we started talking about this park and Cephas was a part of that committee. You know, finding a piece of land to put this park on was a terrible ordeal for us. It took us 18 months or two years. And, and finally, Jerry Bizet talked to Mr. Fred Lamb, who is no longer with us, and him and his wife, Linda, sat down with us. And that's how we got this 65 acres that this park is on. Two big commitments, $250,000 from both of these small towns combined with a part of grant. Half what you see here today. Two, two or three more really big commitments, Vester Auto Group, Southern Bank, uh, numerous amount of smaller donations. Uh, and I'm like, like she said, you know, you don't want to name names, but I'm gonna name a few. Uh, Derek and Matthew Visit Farms, Richard and Nelson Brantley, Amy and David Pearson and Rudy's Truck and Trailer. Very instrumental in doing things here over the course of building this park. Edward Cozart and Larry Finch the two main contractors for getting this where it is today. And then a lot of other small contractors who made it a fruition. Uh, it is a great time. It, it'll be a, definitely be an asset and there's more to come. We are working on a phase two part. I won't get into that in depth today, but it will be as nice as what we're doing now and a great addition to the park. And I thank everybody for coming. I thank y'all for, for putting forth the effort to stay on top of it. And I really do thank the commissioners for the interest in Southern Nash County. Uh, there's a lot going on down here and I continue to see it grow. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Stacy Schatzer with Nash County and um, if you'll just give me a few moments, I wanted to take an opportunity just to speak about senior centers and their benefit to the older adult population and their communities. I think we need to take that opportunity to advocate for our senior centers every chance we get. Senior centers are a vital component to the health and well being of older adults, and this center will no doubt have a positive impact on the quality of life for the folks in the surrounding communities. There are numerous articles being written today that address quality of life for older, older adults. If you search ways to improve quality of life, these are some of the responses that you'll get. Monitor and treat depression. You know, educational programs at the Senior Center teach individuals and loved ones how to recognize depression and where to go for help. In our own experience at the Nash County Senior Center, staff at the center have been instrumental in identifying depressive behaviors and work with families to help get folks the treatment that they need. The second one is staying engaged and feel useful and needed. Senior centers provide an opportunity for folks to invest in something, to take ownership, and to devote time to something that's meaningful to them, ultimately offering an opportunity to feel useful and needed. The third one is staying physically active. Just simply leaving the house and participating at the Senior Center in physical fitness and wellness programs provides physical activity. Number four, staying mentally active. Interacting with others, whether it's a game of bingo, a craft project, learning about the computer, learning how to use your smartphone, and the list goes on. These are many opportunities for folks to keep their 
brains mentally active. And the fifth one is staying connected with family, friends, and community. The Senior Center provides a great location for these activities to take place. I cannot tell you the number of friendships that we've seen develop at the Nash County Senior Center. And typically this is at a point in folks' lives when they're losing their friends. So it's very important for them to continue to connect and make new relationships. I'm so happy that this day has arrived and we're able to move forward in creating another great location in Nash County that seniors can call their own. I'd like to thank the Mount Pleasant Community Incorporated Group for allowing many years of senior programming to take place in the community building in Mount Pleasant. We've been programming there for almost 10 years, and I thank the many seniors who have participated and supported this effort. Thank you, Holly, for all of your work there in Mount Pleasant and keeping these folks together and doing all that you can to provide engaging opportunities for them and Cephas Ray. Obviously, we cannot go today without mentioning Cephas Ray. Uh, your individual efforts to advocate for this center, you took the opportunity to speak in public comment section at, our, at many commissioner meetings, and I just want to personally thank you for your efforts. I also need to thank the Free Real Baptist Children's Home for their partnership and willingness to share their resources with our seniors. We have partnered with them for several years now to utilize their gymnasium for indoor physical activities. I wanna thank our manager and our board of county commissioners. I'm appreciative of your dedication for the funding that you've provided to this project. In 1999, Nash County was one of the last counties to benefit from a pot of state funds that were there to support construction and renovation of senior centers. Today, there's no such support available. And I thank you for the funds that have been set aside over the past few years to make this a reality. Thank you, Mike Tolson, and all of your efforts again. Um, of course, Arnell Builders and Dawson Construction for all of your support, our maintenance staff for all of their continued help. And I would finally like to thank and say how thankful I am for Michelle McKnight, who has so many talents. I sincerely appreciate being able to grow my career within Nash County government and leave aging services in such capable hands. You and your staff do an amazing job. I'm proud of your continued success with keeping the center in Nashville one of four centers in the state of North Carolina to earn national accreditation. I can imagine someday this center achieving just the same. Thank you all for coming today and your support of the center. Um, I will turn it back over to Michelle. <laughs> well, you know how they say on Looney Tunes, that's all folks. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming today. Keep your eyes on and your ears open because great things are in store for this part of the county. We are already planning our shindig for our ribbon cutting and our grand opening, so stay tuned for that. And that's about all we have. We know you probably wanna lay out and work on your tan, but I would suggest you go ahead home now or go back to the center. But we will see you all next time. Be safe and thanks again for coming.